here we have the buoyant wasteling, new version. Um, I'm going to do a quick fish care section. It's a very hot day and we've only got a little chat, but it'll illustrate our case perfectly. Let me just run through a few of the features quickly. Unlike previous wastelings on the market, these zips, once they're done up and laid flat, they lock. Therefore, if you've got a bigger fish in the mat, in the sling, sorry, and, he's, and he thrashes about, the zips can't undo over time. It's been a big problem for a lot of people with this, sort of, this type of system. They go to get their fish out when they get the camera kit ready, the mat's ready, and the fish is gone. So when these are, when these are laid flat, they cannot open. The zips run right down the sides, but not too far down. Transfer him to the mat, sling out the way. Now, as you can see, this is the combi mat. It's PVC lined, rubber coated. That prevents slime transfer from the fish to the mat, which is a problem with a lot of mats on the market. As it's got more rigid sides, it creates a little depression. You keep the fish wet at all time, a bit like a paddling pool. Always wise to keep some water in before you transfer the fish ready. Now, the features of the mat are, if this was a bigger fish, while you're getting your stuff ready or when, you, when you've done your bits and bobs, you can zip him into there for when you're putting him back. We've also got carry straps either side. Now if this was a real big one, carrying a real big fish on say a wet bank early in the morning, that is always dangerous no matter how experienced you are. So you can always take one each between two of you, safely carry the fish back down to the water. Once this is, once this is wet, you can also weigh the fish in these. It's not the ideal situation. Obviously, people are very, very funny about weights of fish, and it's always to try and tr the best to do the best job you can. So it's always far preferable to weigh the fish in a weigh sling. Once you've had your pictures done, as we have, always never risk it, even if it's a short rod length to the water as it is here. Always zip him into the retainer, and then no matter what happens, he can't get out. He cannot damage himself. Right, now we've got that little fella back, safe and sound. I'll just run you through a, key, a few key aspects of the, of the mat. It comes supplied in a bag. Obviously, no one likes a smelly, wet mat in their car. Always best to pack it up. It comes with fixings on the end and a carry strap. Now, when I'm stalking, especially in the summer, floater fishing, whatever, I like to carry it like this. I can put my scales, a little bag of floaters or bottom baits, whatever, and my tackle box in here, uh, even my camera carry it over my shoulder, rod in, the, rod in the net, and I'm ready to go. Uh, just to reiterate, let me just say again, that fish safety is paramount. You know, it's, it's about everything we do here. If we don't look after the fish, there will be no fish to go fishing for very quickly. So all I'll say to end on is do your prep first. When you land your fish, leave it in the net, zero your wasteling, get it all ready, wet and ready. Transfer the fish into the wasteling, put it back in the water to, to sit for a bit and recover while you get your camera kit set up and ready. Get your mat wet, get a bucket of water and everything should run smooth as clockwork.